Welcome to In the Spotlight. Today I'm going to interview a dietitian, and right now we're in front of a lunchbox place, a lunchbox shop, and it's called Yuan Wei Lunchbox, uh, Yuan Wei Bian Dang. And so original flavor lunchbox place, and uh, it's very interesting. They care a lot about where the food comes from, where the other ingredients come from. So look over here. This is the map of Taiwan, and it actually shows where exactly everything comes from throughout the island. So there's the broccoli, and there's uh, you know pork, chicken, and um, and so you can see that they sell all these different lunch boxes. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, but actually you know it's all very healthy because it all comes from wherever all the greenness comes from. So you know they're eating very healthy. And right now we're going to go in there. And we're going to meet Andy Zhou, the dietitian that I told you about. And、um, we're going to be actually doing the interview in the big experimental kitchen. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let's hear what he has to say about food. All right, now we've walked in here to this、um, lunchbox place、uh, called. 原味便当 it means the original flavor、yeah. 便当 which stands for lunchbox place, and they actually have this big kitchen right here. So it's it's sort of like an experimental kitchen. All right, now we're meeting our guest, and this is Andy Zhou. All right,、Hello. so good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you、yeah. too. Thank you so much for having this place. It's really amazing、My、doing、pleasure. this interview here. Yeah. So Andy is a dietitian. Yep.、Yeah. And、uh, you studied at Gastronomy Science University yeah. Yeah. in Italy in gastronomic, gastro, with gastronomic. Oh gosh,、yeah. gastronomic science. So of course, so you're into food yourself. Yes. Yeah. So、um, anyway, before we go on to know more about Andy,、mm -hmm. why don't you start off with a story that you said has made an impact on you? Okay. Well,、wow. I was a dietitian. And you know the dietitian,、um, the food they try to tell you is a ninety-nine percent about health. About、right? health, yeah. And usually that kind of food is not very delicious. We all know that. I、uh, know. And so that is really make me feel the life is very boring. You know, because every day when the, your customer come here and look at you and.、Uh, Question: Fifty percent is. I I think I'm too fat. Oh. How can I be, lose no, weight? Lose weight diet. Blah 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 blah. And <clears throat> this kind of life make me feel very sad because you know all the rule and the only thing you need to tell them is、uh, go to do some sport,、uh, play ball, something or don't eat some trash food. Right. Especially in your back, that one. Oh and, yes. Yeah, right. And、uh, when the two thousand, I had got a chance. I can write a column, write some article in the newspaper. And、uh, at the same moment, I think、uh, yes, <coughs> it's a time.、Uh, something more funny for me. So I keep to visit a lot of restaurant and、uh, talk with chef and、uh, use another nickname is Xu Zhong. Uh -huh, yes. To tell people what is、name. good food, and good food is make me,、mm, you know, feel the life is、uh, colorful. Uh, today you can try the Thai food, the、uh, Italian food, the、uh, French food, the、uh, Chinese food. My life suddenly feel is very good, especially uh in two thousand I very young. Uh, when I'm very young, I can write an article in newspaper and、uh, magazine. That moment I feel, I'm good. You feel good、yeah. about yourself. And I, yeah, it's true. But one day, around two thousand four, two thousand four day is a television, and、uh, a country <coughs> visited me, asked me talk about、uh, mango food, mango the mango, food, mango, mango, yes, yeah, yeah, this fruit, and、uh, uh, we go to a restaurant. The restaurant chef just. Uh, uh, buy a book from the French, and he is very exciting to tell me, hey Andy. You are lucky man. I say why? Because I just got a Michelin two star chef's、uh, recipe, and I can make a very good mango salad for you. I said, "Well, that's good. That's good." So after the dishes come on the table, and I taste, 
You know they, they Taiwan have a, a mango. The name is Iwen mango. Yes. Yes, and it's very sweet. So <clears throat> just image, very sweet fruit, and the dressing it's vinegar, very sour vinegar, and then suddenly you feel something wrong. Ooh. Well, okay. So the camera is come here. Hey Andy, how's your feeling? Oh, you know this chef is very creative. Um, he showed something I don't know. That's good. So the camera is uh, move out. I say, come. What is this trash? <laughs> 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 and the chef say, ah, actually, I feel it's not very good too. And why you give this kind of food for me? Because it is Michelin two stars recipe. I make one hundred percent. I never change it. Wait a moment. You say Michelin two stars. French guy, right? Yes. In French, we have Iwen Mango. No, we don't have. So why you use Iwen Mango to make this dish? So at that moment, I find a lot chef, a lot <coughs> friends. When they cook, they never think about uh, ingredients. Or they think about ingredients, but they didn't think very deeply. Make example in our mango in Taiwan. Where is the famous um, area that grows mango? Yeah, Iwen mango. Actually, I don't know where. Yeah, usually <laughs> most of people will say Tainan I uh, oh, okay. Yujin. Right. Yeah. Down south. But actually in Fangliao, Pingdong, Pingdong the Fangliao. Yes. There is very they famous. Are the so famous for mango. It's the same kinds of Iwen mango. Fangliao Iwen mango. The flavor. Will it be the same with Yujin Sai Wen Mango? No, no way. It's different area. So the flavor should be different. So if the flavor is different, how can you use the same way to cook it, to show it? Yeah, and, you uh, can't yeah, do that, right? Yeah, yeah. So in that moment, I think uh, even we say, we, uh, before we fire some vegetable, we will say cut some garlic, uh, put some oil, open the fire, then get some flavor out. What kind of garlic you will use? In Taiwan, at, at least we have a 13 kinds of garlic. 30? 13. 30 kinds of garlic, wow. So, 13. Oh, uh, 13. I'm oh, sorry, 13. sorry. Yeah. 13. 13. That's 13. still a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, some is more spicy, some is more flavor. Which one you want? Would you care it? No. And uh, I, when I ask more people and I feel more confused, why nobody Care about the flavor and uh, the area we say Feng Tu. Mm -hmm. Ah, that is very important. Uh, and uh, then when I got more and more famous, uh, I have a chance to meet with other countries, our uh, food journalists, and uh, a lot of journalists. The uh, when we the first time we meet, usually the question is, Hey Andy, show me some good food, some Taiwanese good food, some Taiwanese cuisine. Uh, don't show me Italian food. Uh, that is not really Italian. Uh, don't show me American. Oh, don't show me Chinese. Show me some Taiwanese food. Well, at the moment, make me feel confused because suddenly I find I don't know what is Taiwanese food. I oh, don't know really? what is Taiwan's cuisine. Make simple, like Taipei, lu rou fan. Oh, it's this a braised uh, pork over rice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very which, Taiwanese local dish. Yes, and dish. which part of the pork you should use, which kinds of soy sauce you should use, which kind of rice, how to cook. This all matters. It's all very important, right? Yeah, so make simple like a, a Napoli pizza. Pizza in Napoli. You can find a rule to tell you this is Napoli pizza. And that is, uh, that is Roma style. That is maybe Veneto style. But this is Napoli style. Why? Because you have a rule. And certainly I find in Taipei, you can find the Tainan Lu Zhao Fan. Mm -hmm. You can find the Zhanghua Ba Wan. So These are all special, like local specialties. Yes, so you just yeah. think uh, if I want to try the really Zhanghua Lu Yuan, in Taipei, when I find that it's really the flavor is the same with the Zhanghua, suddenly I, I feel confused and uh, I feel very sad because 
And uh, for the writer, I got a little famous. A lot of people know me. And uh, I don't know what is Taiwanese food, or what is Taiwanese cuisine, and uh, I am Taiwanese. You're still telling the story? This is still the story that you're talking about? Yeah, so... Okay. So, what's the from conclusion? From 2004, yes. I start to uh, spend a lot of time to study the ingredients. So I hold a lot of testing party. Make example like uh, a soy sauce testing party, like uh, a rubber gun, dry edge, uh, and dry radish. Turnip. Yeah. Yeah, radish. Yes. Radish. Same thing. Uh, yeah. The uh, testing. It's all Taiwanese food. All rice testing, vinegar testing. I try to use the white testing way to study it, and uh, because my uh, background is food science and dietitian. So I can talk with uh, um, with a lot of professor, and we use the science way to check the flavor, because my salt or my sweet maybe is different with your salt. You some, yeah. sometimes I feel it's too salty. You think it's just okay. Mm, that is true. So we must use uh, <coughs> the number <coughs> to tell you <coughs> it's salty. How much salt you put? How how much? NACL. And we use a science way to uh, explain all the food. Really? You guys talk that <coughs> way? But yeah. we don't talk that way. No, we talk about it. Make you cook the uh, meat. We try to tell you the protein be changed. And uh, uh, what the temperature will be changed and the flavor will be, what will happen. Mm. And we use the science way to think. And uh, we start to talk with uh, a lot of example like uh, pig farms. And we tell them maybe you can feed the pig some different food, then the flavor will be different. Then we have a testing party and we try to figure out uh, all the Taiwan's different food, they have an area with a Ge Xing. With their character? Yeah, character. Personality? Yeah, personality. And uh, in different way they have, they can try to fight, we say, food culture. The one that fits you. Yes. Because to you and to me, it could be different, right? Yeah. So, uh, that is why in 2007, I tried to uh, go to Italy. Mm. And uh, because in Italy, they have uh, uh, a slow association, they build a school. And this school is teach the foreigner know what is Italian food. Right. I think uh, that's uh, good. I want to know the system. I want to know how they teach the foreigner what is Italian food. Because my Italian friend tell me, Italy is not just uh, pasta and pizza. It's never happened. <laughs> and uh, actually, there is no Italian food. When some people tell you he knows the Italian food, it means he really don't know anything <laughs> about Italian food. So, I say, Why? And that's the same thing as Taiwanese food. When people ask you what's real Taiwanese food, it's okay. Don't feel bad that we don't know what is real Taiwanese no, food. But because Italian food, there's no real Italian food, right? But, is that what you're saying? But they use different way to explain it. They say there's no Italian food because they only have Sicily food, Toscana food, Napoli food, Roma food, or Piemonte food, Italy have a 20 area. Oh, just like here in Taiwan, we have Zhanghua food, Tainan yeah, food, yeah, yeah. and Taitong food. And he, ah. he tried to tell me Chinese food, Sichuan food, and the Shanghai food is different, right? Right. So you will not say Sichuan food is the Chinese food. It's totally wrong. Chinese food is uh, very, you must, you must know, it's very um, complicated. Yeah. So the Italy is very complicated too. And you must know what is Sicily food, what is Toscana food. And if the people really know the Toscana food, you must know the Siena food and the Florence food. Okay. All right. You must very deeply to know the food culture and the flavors different. Then you will know a little about Italy. All right. Well, hey, Andy, you're way ahead of me, okay? Um, why are you into food? I mean, is this is run in your family? Uh, your mom and dad really into like mei shi, like you know, good dining. Oh, yeah. I mean, why are you into food? You 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 you're a young man, and I'm surprised to think that you are a dietitian. Um, by the way you look, <laughs> I don't know. 
that the because the, right <laughs> you're you you kept yourself very fit. Better because I'm a dietitian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's different from a chef. Ah, uh, yeah, different. Okay, so why every are you every time eat, I must count the calorie. You do? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the food is so nice, so forget. Oh. But usually I will count. Okay. Yeah. So, why are you into food? Actually, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> because my family is not very interesting about the food. For them, there is calorie. For them, it's all calories. Yeah, but so then I can picture that your family members, every one of them, are just as fit as you are. Yeah. Nobody like is like overweight. No. Wow, this is amazing. And your brother and sisters. Yes. And they also just as fit. They Similar. don't. Yeah. They don't have any overweight problems at all. Yeah. That is really amazing. Nah, it's okay because they are not very interested in the bottle of food. So every time I say let's go out, I say oh, I'm so tired. Really. Lazy. Let's cook ourselves. So they, they are not very interested in about this part. But why I am interested? In, actually, I I really don't know. Just I like eat. Mm -hmm. I like food. You just like to eat. Yeah. But different from your parents, though. Different. From your family. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna get more. Uh, get to know you more and just what you what you're studying and what you're doing and your job and everything. But um, let's take a break first. Okay. Okay. We'll be right back.